Optimal rib mechanics are of vital importance in maintaining scapulothoracic mechanics, shoulder posture, balance in the sympathetic nervous system, venous and lymphatic return, and overall health. Diagnosis and treatment of rib somatic dysfunction is useful for a multitude of acute and chronic conditions in both hospitalized and ambulatory settings. In the hospitalized patient, treatment of rib somatic dysfunction is important to optimize respiratory and circulatory function and prevent hospital-acquired comorbidities. In the ambulatory setting, treatment of rib somatic dysfunction addresses a multitude of common pain presentations, including interscapular and mid to upper back pain, as well as head, neck, and upper and lower limb complaints. Each rib has a costovertebral joint between the head of the rib and the vertebral bodies. In addition, each rib also has a costotransverse joint between the rib tubercle and the transverse process facet. These joints allow for a smooth gliding with muscle motion during respiration. The ribs are also sites of extensive myofascial attachment to allow for breathing and other actions of the thorax, head and neck control, and upper limb and trunk motion. Articular and or myofascial restrictions of the ribs can therefore directly impede respiratory motion and indirectly cause postural implications for regions adjacent to the thorax. As a structural rib dysfunction, posterior rib somatic dysfunction tends to be more articular in nature and can be the key rib of restricted groups of ribs in inhalation, exhalation, or both. Common causes for posterior rib somatic dysfunctions include cough, poor posture, increased kyphosis, poor lifting technique, or excessive physical activity. Pain and dysfunction related to posterior ribs commonly results in a protracted scapula with an anterior shoulder posture which leads to dysfunctional scapula thoracic mechanics. It is frequently implicated in rotator cuff syndromes and other common painful conditions of the shoulder, head, and neck. Therefore, treatment of posterior rib somatic dysfunction can be significantly beneficial for upper back, neck, and shoulder pain, as well as headaches. Rib dysfunction can be a result of, or contribute to, aberrant facilitation of the spinal reflexes. Treatment of affected regions can therefore help to balance the neural and autonomic influences of these conditions. The posterior rib HVLA technique is one of the favorite and most requested treatments by both our patients and our medical students. While an elevated rib strain may also be present, the technique in the video will focus on HVLA to directly address the articular aspects of a posterior rib dysfunction. The seated patient is instructed to cross his or her arms in the front of their body to protract the scapula and to slouch or flex forward which makes the ribs more prominent for palpation. A rib that feels more prominent posteriorly and may be tender to the patient is diagnosed as a posterior rib. The patient is supine. The physician stands on the opposite side of the posterior rib. We position the arms by crossing them across the patient's chest, making sure the arm on the side of the posterior rib is cephalad. Roll the patient towards you and sweep to find the angle of the dysfunctional rib. Place your thenar eminence between the transverse process and the rib angle. Roll the patient back onto your thenar eminence and create a vector force from your abdomen through the patient's elbows to the somatic dysfunction. Ask the patient to take a deep breath in. With your thenar eminence against the rib cage, flex the patient past the level of the somatic dysfunction. Coordinate returning the patient to the table with full exhalation so that your vector force is directly over the dysfunctional rib and you have taken up the slack in the rib cage upon their full exhalation. Apply an HVLA thrust with your epigastrium towards the rib angle. The thrust is felt at your thenar eminence and an articulation may be palpated or heard. Reassess by palpating the involved rib angle after treatment. Effective treatment of posterior rib somatic dysfunction with HVLA thrust can reduce pain, improve shoulder posture and scapula thoracic mechanics, balance the autonomic nervous system, improve venous and lymphatic return, and restore health.